Hey guys, welcome back to Project Orban, where we will be slamming this mini bike right here that we got in this video and we blew up in this video. And if you ask me why we're doing this, I don't really know. We're, we're kind of just doing this for fun. So if we look at the mini bike, we have a tab right here, and all we have to do is cut that and weld it on here. The brakes are actually an issue. I have no idea how we're gonna get that working, but we'll figure it out later. We might just not have brakes for this video. We'll see. I think I have everything in the shop to do this. I don't think there's any parts that I actually have to replace. I think it's just a lot of cutting and welding. So hopefully we'll be able to just do this project and have it finished by the end. So we're actually gonna start with the back because I wanna see how it looks like when the back is super low and the handlebars are super high. So I just wanna see how it looks. All right, first thing you're gonna do is remove the back wheel. That's pretty simple. Um, all you're gonna do is unscrew these two bolts and take out all the spacers and pull the chain off and then you're pretty much done. All right, so now the next step is removing this brake right here. The purpose of this is to get everything out of the way so that we can weld these two tabs on the bottom right on the top and see how much space we get. We're just gonna put this brake caliper to the side and then hopefully we'll be able to attach that on later. Now what you're gonna be looking at is the tabs that are in the way. So you're gonna look at this tab here. We don't need this tab for anything. I'm not sure why it's here. So we're gonna cut this tab off. We're gonna cut this off, um, but we're gonna save this piece um, so we can attach the brake caliper on later, hopefully up here on this bar. All right, we got our first piece off. Now we're gonna do the second piece. Make sure to cut this piece carefully because we're gonna reuse it later. I'm just re-saying this because this piece is really important. There's our piece fully cut. Um, another thing is make sure you're not cutting the frame and you're only cutting into the piece. Um, especially because the frame is more important than this piece, but we still have the, a lot of metal to work with when we re-weld it, if we do. So yeah, just make sure you're not cutting into the frame and making holes in the frame, because then it decreases the strength of the frame. Just to reiterate guys, I am showing you the steps, but I've actually never done this before. So make sure you watch through my video and if I make any mistakes, well, you'll know what you wanna do with yours if you wanna squat it or slam it. All right, next thing we're gonna do is take the wheel and the axle and put them back into the frame and just try to mock up where we think the wheel is gonna go and where the best spot is. Um, I just wanna see how tucked in it's gonna be. So I'll show you what I'm trying to explain. It's kinda hard to explain. We can kinda see how tucked in it's gonna be. So if you imagine this being welded right here, the wheel is going to be sitting just a little higher than here. So yeah, that's how tucked in it's going to be. It's actually going to be a little further up. So add like one inch right up there. So it's going to be tucked in really far. Um, I'm just going to do this. This is the simplest way to do it. Technically, you might be able to add some metal right there and then weld that on top of it just to get it tucked in a little bit more. But for now, this is how tucked I want it to be. So obviously the next step is going to be taking those two tabs, cutting them off, and welding them on the inside. Also, if you're this far in the video, you might as well subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers, so sub up so we can hit that thousand subscriber mark. Let's get back to the project. got both tabs cut off. So now what I'm gonna do is hit it up with a sander and just smooth out both bars on each side where we're gonna weld, just so that it's a cleaner weld and it overall just looks a little bit cleaner. All right guys, so now it's pretty simple. We don't have to worry about spacing it or anything because we're just gonna take where it was welded down here and weld it directly on top to get like two inches of tuck. It's pretty simple and if this works, this is all we're gonna have to do. We could just throw the wheel back on and see how much tuck we got. So we tacked everything on and we're gonna put the wheel back on just to see how it fits and see how it looks. We also wanna check to see if all the spacers work and if we need more or less spacers and then we'll fully weld it on after we test it. Inside and we have 
have it all mac'd up. As you can see, it's tucked in way farther because this is where the mud flaps used to be. Now, we got it unmounted with these flaps still on, so I don't have to remove these, but they are really close to the tire, so I may remove these or I'll leave them on to add a mud flap. But for now, we're just gonna leave them because it doesn't matter. Now, what we're gonna do is weld the flaps fully on so we can get the whole back ready for riding, and then we'll start on the front. are all done the next step is going to be cranking the axle down and getting the whole back ready for actually riding so now that i'm looking at the bike i'm thinking it'll be cooler to actually extend the forks rather than tucking the wheel back in i guess we'll see how it goes let's get cracked all right guys now that we have the frame dropped and tucked now what we're going to do is we're going to start on the front forks and we're going to remake the whole front fork so here's how we're going to do that now with these two pieces, all we're gonna do is cut the handlebars somewhere around here and put these in. Now we're not gonna use the whole piece because obviously this wheel would be sticking out like all the way to here, which is, we don't want it to be super extended. So we're gonna use maybe half or a little bit more than half of both of these to extend the front two forks. Now that you have the tire bolted, we are going to cut these two tabs off in case we want to put a mud flap back on. And we are also going to cut somewhere here and make sure when you cut it, you're measuring it and you're cutting it at the exact same place that the other one was cut at so that you won't have anything wonky with the tire later. you're going to do is you're going to take your pieces and you're going to weld them to the ends on both sides so that you have two longer posts now i'm still not sure if we're going to use this whole thing but i'm going to weld this on uh to see and then i'm going to set the whole frame on the ground just to see how high it is um if it's really high we'll cut some off um but it's just as simple as that so we're going to weld this on here and we're going to weld it on this side and then We'll move on from there. done all the welding so now we can see how it looks and I'm just gonna set the frame on the ground without the tire added um, maybe I'll pull up the tire just to see but now is where we really get to see how propped up it's gonna be um, and so just look so we're gonna see here we go I'll take this off it's just tacked on so the metal is not really strong so you gotta be careful all right so this is all right so this is kind of how it's gonna be the wheel is gonna be lifted up about to here so it's definitely going to be back and like a chopper so we're not going to cut any pipe off we're going to weld the pipe fully on and we're going to weld the two ends that are sitting right there on the end so we can mount the wheel guys so we welded everything and now all we have to do is mount the front wheel on the two forks are bent in so we're gonna try to bend them out but we're just gonna go ahead and mount the wheel and then after we do that then we have to move on to the chain and making sure the chain has the right tension and all that
guys, so this is kind of how it looks. We have, we might do a reinforcements like right here uh, to reinforce these bars. But yeah, this thing is sick. <laughs> bro, it's like literally, I made a freaking motobox into a chopper, bro. Let me do a little roll, let's do a little roll, let's do a little roll. It feels so good. Let's feel it, bro. It feels way nicer. That's a lot like a normal metal box. Isn't that kind of nice, bro? I bet you could drift this. Like, not even gonna lie. Like, look, cause look at it. It looks like the back end could slide out. Cause you're like turning up here. You could literally <laughs> just ride it like this. <laughs> Anthony, what do you think? Should we extend the handlebars or not? I honestly think it's fine. I don't think you need to, because it already looks like such a mean bike. As you can see, we have everything tacked up here. We have our eyepiece and it's right over the welds that I've done earlier or the welds that I did earlier. And so now that we have everything tacked in, we're going to weld everything on and make sure it's completely solid. And then we'll be done with the front forks. I think I'm gonna start now. So do I just rest the needle on top and then pull the trigger? Yeah. Now just drag, drag it down. It's okay. Try it again. You want to go slower because see how that's like making little holes. Mm -hmm. You want to pull the pull the the liquid metal. So you'll see a little pool forming. It'll be the brightest spot you see, and that's your pool. Okay. Okay. And then as you see that bright spot, try to pull against it like this and drag down and fill fill the gap instead of just going over the gap. Okay. See what I'm saying? Dude, it literally happened again, bro. Alright guys, so that is the break. And we got it all welded up. And so now we're gonna move on to the chain. Alright, so guys, we are all finished. Now, the last thing we have to do is test drive it. We did have to delete the chain tensioner to finish this project. That was just because when we moved the tire up, I had to remove a couple links and I didn't have a half link, so I had to remove the chain tensioner. Now, this is fine because the chain might loosen up a little bit more, um, but we still have the chain tensioner so we can put it back on if the chain gets too loose. So now we're gonna test drive it and see how it runs and uh, we'll go from there. Oh, so this is test number one. We're gonna see if it works.
right guys, so the bike is pretty cool. When I'm riding on dirt, the front wheel likes to hop up a lot and um, it likes to slide, like the front likes to slide. Um, I think that's just because it's like a chopper, but if y'all know of any better mods that would make this thing drive a little a little smoother on dirt, hit me up in the comments. Um, but overall, it rides pretty well and I'm pretty happy with the finished product. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, because it doesn't steer. It has a wide turn. Yeah, you have to lean. Yeah. Y'all check out Chad Kimball. He's got his own YouTube channel. He's got way more subscribers than me, like 70K. <laughs> so, <laughs> go check that channel out. It's not as exciting as Project Rubber Man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>